Good afternoon. You will find a report on the topic Generalized Semantic Analysis Algorithm of Natural Language Texts for Various Functional Style Types by Natalia Sharonova, Irina Gruzdo, Irina Kyrichenko, Glib Tereshenko. At the present stage of development of information technologies, both throughout the world and in Ukraine, tasks related to machine search for information are of relevance and special attention is paid to determining the meaning of text documents and finding dependencies and borrowings. In accordance with this, there is a problem that needs to be solved, namely the lack of effectiveness of existing methods for determining the meaning of text documents of various types in natural language as well as the lack of an effective mechanism for determining the fact of semantic proximity of text documents, taking into account paraphrasing depending on different functional and style types of texts. Although many works have been devoted to solving this problem, which have been developing for more than half a century, but when applying classical models of semantic analysis in practice, there is a partial loss of the meaningful meaning of the text, which in turn is not always justified although it allows you to perform some procedures, but at the same time misses a number of features. As a result of the above, the task of creating an effective information toolkit for determining the meaning of text documents and, as a result, expanding the semantic component of the text as a whole is relevant. In accordance with this, a meaningful formulation of the study was formulated and it is presented on slide 3. In accordance with this, in the course of the study, an analysis of the literature was carried out. Slide 4 presents fragments of works on the problem under consideration, which demonstrate the historical aspect of solving the problem. It should be noted that although there are a lot of works that are solved within the framework of them, but the problem of choosing the necessary solutions that would allow with a greater degree of probability to give an accurate approximate assessment of the realities of the project being developed in the course of analyzing the primary sources of the first works devoted to the topic of the work, a tendency was noticed to divide the works into those that consider the solution of abstract theoretical problems, and those that are aimed at the programmatic implementation of solutions. It should be noted that all the approaches and models described in them are aimed at solving a specific problem and therefore can be applied only for a narrow range of subject areas and depend on the functional and style types of texts and tasks that need to be solved. Finding similarities, finding dependencies, forecasting. As you can see it clearly on slide 5, we can analyze the details of the text at different levels, which depends entirely on our goal. Semantic analysis is used. For example, to create chatbots, search engines and in the tasks of analyzing and improving the competitiveness of the enterprise. For automated text analysis, both fairly simple and very complex models are used. Large companies around the world create their own text analysis services, develop their own ecosystems. At the same time, those practical solutions that have proven to be a certain efficiency are the subjects of know-how and the mathematical apparatus that underlies them is not available in open access. The semantics of texts of different functional and style types in different parts is different, but at the same time, depending on the type of text itself, it helps to understand the essence of the text and determine the meaning depending on its specific interpretation within the framework of this or another direction of functional style texts. Slide 7 shows the functional and style types of texts according to the classification of V.S. Vinogradov, which are aimed at facilitating the process of automatically determining the type of text, which in turn allows you to automatically select more appropriate algorithms for text analysis, depending on the type of work. It should also be noted that the functional style typology covers almost all texts, considering them in all the variety of content and linguistic, stylistic features. Any text can be attributed to a particular style. In general, the functional style classification can be represented in the form given on this poster. When solving the problem of determining the meaning of text documents, it should be remembered that each text has certain functional and style characteristics that determine a certain choice of analysis tools at a particular time, and interpretations of the understanding of meaning, which ensure its equivalence. Therefore, one of the subtasks of semantic analysis is the allocation of functional and style characteristics at the stage of pre-processing the text. The semantics of texts of different functional and style types and in different parts of the document are different, 
but at the same time, depending on the type of text itself, it helps to understand the essence of the text and determine the meaning depending on its specific interpretation within the framework of a particular direction. It should also be noted that today, semantic analysis of the text, in various fields now has more than a trillion of search results in Google Scholar. The classical semantic model consists of the word itself, its definition, examples of combining it with others and composing phrases, sentences. But in the classical form it is very difficult to use, because on large volumes of texts it requires significant computational resources. In turn, this imposes a number of restrictions on its use in various fields. As shown in the diagram, text is tokenized, broken down into words, filtered, structured, and classified. Currently, literature has access to a variety of text sources, and according to the type of document and its style, the problem of finding semantic proximity is solved. Therefore, taking into account the specifics of the documents and depending on the types of text work, there are different interpretations of the process of semantic analysis, which in turn is difficult to adapt in the framework of the general task of semantic analysis of the text. Despite the success of individual studies, very little is known about how well a particular method works in comparison with each other and how sensitive they are to changes in various parameters and characteristics of texts. It is also difficult to understand how the search for texts similar in meaning occurs. What methods are there for finding texts of the same or similar subjects and whether they take into account the functional and stylistic types of text arrays of information? These problems are due to the fact that the authors do not disclose the algorithms of work and consider their works to be the subject of know-how and due to this we can say that for 80 years there has been no common solution to the problem related to determining the meaning of text documents using semantic analysis. In most cases, the following models of semantic text processing are used to determine the meaning of text documents using semantic analysis, linguistic transformations, over texts, content analysis, context analysis, paragraph vector model, as well as associative semantic analysis. Further, in the course of the study, the main algorithms that underlie them were analyzed. The results of a detailed analysis, each of them are given on. Slides 13 to 21. In the course of the analysis, they were studied, and their practical applicability for solving the research problem was considered. In the course of the analysis, it was found that when applying classical models of semantic analysis in practice, there is a partial loss of the meaningful meaning of the text, which in turn is not always justified, although it allows you to perform some procedures, but misses a number of features. In the course of the analysis, it was found that there is no universal method of semantic analysis. All of them complement each other and respond to different tasks of text analysis. When you use them to analyze texts of different volumes, the result is completely different, which means that we can say that the use of one method is not enough to obtain a more general assessment. In our previous studies, a deeper study of these methods was carried out and in accordance with which the paragraph vector model was subsequently chosen for more detailed study, as well as its distributed memory and distributed bag of words methods. Various aspects of the application of distributed memory and distributed methods were considered. Bag of words, as well as studied sets of algorithms of the underlying methods distributed memory and distributed bag of words allowing to obtain distributed vectors of parts of texts to solve the problem of determining similar articles, where the search will be carried out by keywords, by abstract, and by articles razzle in volume. The course concluded that the use of the paragraph vector method for semantic text analysis as a subtask aimed at solving the problems of word processing in the detection of plagiarism, as well as text recognition, is colossal. It was also reasonably assumed that the additional time that will be allocated to semantic processing of texts will not greatly affect the overall processing of text processing. On the basis of the considered concepts and existing solutions, a meaningful formulation of the task of determining the meaning of text documents using semantic analysis for different functional and style types of texts can be formulated. It coincides with the substantial statement of the research problem given on slide 2. 
To solve this problem, the following requirements were identified presented on slide 22. In accordance with the requirements of slide 22, the methodology for finding borrowings in the text has been improved, taking into account the addition of semantic analysis. The result is reflected on slide 23. The specifics of solving the problem set in the study involves the development of a special method that will make it possible to take into account all the above requirements as fully as possible. The solution of the problem is complicated by the fact that today there is no single classification of functional and style types of texts, but such a classification will allow you to identify additional characteristics of the text, thanks to which it is possible to judge not only about authorship, but also about the specifics of the construction of different types of texts, which also differ in volume. It is also necessary to feed the repetitions, and not to remove them from the text, since they affect the process of semantic analysis and, as a consequence, the result. Developed a generalized algorithm for semantic analysis of natural language texts for various functional and style types. This is a theoretical algorithm. It is necessary to perform its verification. For this it is necessary to perform its programmatic implementation. It should also be noted that most likely within the framework of testing, these algorithms will be refined and modified. So we can say that this is the first version of the algorithm for semantic analysis of natural language texts. It is also necessary to determine how the degree of semantic proximity of texts will be evaluated. It can be said that such an algorithm will improve the accuracy of the results obtained earlier, by definition of borrowings in the works, because it will take into account paraphrasings. Also, to confirm the results, it is necessary to check the adequacy of the semantic analysis model, taking into account the solution of the problem of the proximity of texts depending on the functional and style types of text. Slides 29 to 30 show the solution of the problem of assessing the degree of semantic proximity of texts. The above assessment technique will be used to conduct an experiment to determine the degree of semantic proximity of texts. Experimental assessment of the adequacy and efficiency of the developed algorithm for semantic analysis of natural language texts for various functional and style types will be carried out on a specially developed software. In the course of this work, an analysis of the current state of the problem of determining the meaning of text documents was carried out. The importance of semantic analysis was determined. An overview of the most used algorithms of semantic analysis is carried out. The steps of the text processing process in semantic analysis have been specified. A generalized algorithm for determining the meaning of text documents using semantic analysis for different functional and style types of texts has been developed. A meaningful formulation of the task of determining the meaning of text documents for different functional and style types of texts was carried out. The criteria for assessing the quality of decisions made to determine the fact of semantic proximity of texts, taking into account paraphrasing, have been determined. The results obtained will make it possible to continue work on the analysis of texts for the presence of textile borrowings and borrowings of the idea in them as well as in determining the authorship of the text, taking into account its paraphrasing. At the moment, work is underway to create a system for assessing the degree of semantic proximity of texts. Within the framework of this system, the developed algorithm is used. Thank you for your attention. Report is over.